Hello everyone, welcome back to another review. I am Rhinimus2099, and so you know, Poe is uh, right next to me, so that's awesome, because he never likes to be around me when I review. So today we're reviewing Nakea from the Black Panther Wave 1, which, admittedly, this was sort of a good balanced wave. We had, I think, three movie figures and then three comic book figures, so I considered it balanced because I don't like when you get seven move seven movie characters and then one comic book character who just doesn't fit or if you get a lot of comic book figures like the um, abomination wave and then you just get one character from the movies um i like all comic book uh or movie or fully split so nick um uh if you've seen the movie you basically know how big of a deal she is um I really didn't know about her. I knew about Suri because I read a comic beforehand. There was like a comic that came out. And then there's also a Killmonger comic, which that's very good. I would recommend go checking that out. I'd also recommend checking out the new Black Panther series because I picked that up. Um, and I love that series. So yeah, I'm just recommending some stuff for you guys in case you want more of a Black Panther. Since he is a very cool ca character with very cool abilities and powers and... Very cool suit. So, yeah. Anyway, Nikkei comes with two weapons. She comes with her discs. You see. She does come with the Build-A-Figure staff for, um, Okoye. And then this little dagger, which I don't remember in the movie. Maybe if one of you guys remember it, tell me. Um, but I don't know how you're supposed to use this. I don't know if this, like plugs in anything, or if it's just a little dagger, I don't know, um, now what is annoying is these female figures don't have, um, in, uh, butterfly joints, which, if you have a butter butterfly joint, you can get the Wakanda Forever look, which I want with her Okoye and, uh, Dora Molage. but since they all share the same body, they really can't do that, um, uh, I can't get it with, um, also, uh, T'Chaka, which I want that with him, but I'll even try to get her to do it, and it's just, it's really, um, if they need to perfect the female body for it, um, yeah, I, I really can't do it, it's just, the arms don't have enough bendability, and they don't have enough, um, uh, they don't have a butterfly joint, so they can't get in, so this is sort of the best I can do, but anyway, um, I have had her with the staff, because, uh, that just makes her more look, look pretty awesome, and I'll just put her with the staff and the dagger, um, oops, dropped it, oh, my walls, <laughs> so yeah. I don't know. It really depends on your liking. I sort of like her to just have the staff, or I like her to have both the discs, um, disc hoops, which have very nice detail, like, good job, Hasbro, on these. And Hasbro, you've done a great job with these figures. Articulation is a different story, but paint and detail-wise, amazing. These, these are definitely worth your money, and, um, I'll say that about every Marvel Legend I pick up. So anyway, here she is with T'Chaka, which if you get her and or Melage, you can definitely get the uh, two guards that he has. I don't have the sachet on right now, um, but he is a little taller, just so you know. Which, yeah, I I'm really digging these Black Panther figures. Um, I was a little hesitant at first, but uh, this is the Umbaku wave. It's probably the only wave that I may get. Well, it will obviously be my first wave of Marvel Legends, but definitely if they make, like, a new Thanos wave, I'll pick up that. I feel like I have to. And I definitely feel like I have to pick up the, uh... Bless you, Um, I definitely feel like I have to buy buy the Cole Obsidian wave and get the Proxima Midnight figure so that I can have a whole Dark Order with Thanos. Because that's something I want to have. But, of course, getting Cole Obsidian... A little bit harder. Anyway, so, should you pick up this figure if you aren't intending to pick up the entire wave and get Okoye? 
I'm thinking yes, because if you do not need that old Killmonger and the old T'Challa and the uh, Black Bolt and the Namor and the uh, Invincible Iron Man, if you don't want all those figures, understandable. Pick up the new wave because it has a great amount of figures. It has um, some interesting ones, gotta say. I'm, I'm glad that we finally get a version of Claw. Uh, that was probably the first figure that I wanted. Um, after I saw Black Panther, I was like, I know he's dead, but I need him. I need a cl Ulysses Claw. And I needed a um, good T'Challa. So I originally was going to get the SHV Orch one, but I don't know yet. I still have to think about it. I'm definitely going to pick up this wave. The uh, new Umbaku wave. And hey, I hope they do more Black Panther movies. It um, I, I like Black Panther, admittedly. Um, I've shared this a lot because it was just very, it was a little different, you know. Uh, I don't like all of my Marvel movies to take place in just um, New York. Um, and, uh, yeah, it got it got a little annoying at some times when you're like, wait, 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 he's bad, but I'm supposed to like him because he, he's sad. <laughs> Sometimes I got upset when they were like, Eric Killmonger had such a hard pass. Growing up with no father, I'm like, oh my god, stop, please, stop, please. And I was like, skip, 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 skip. Um, and then, like, when he's fighting T'Challa and, like, throws him off, I'm like, ha, I still hate you now. And they're like, but he has no father. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I have been Rodimus. And, uh, by the way, sorry if I spelled her name wrong. I probably will. It's nothing new in the, um, title. So yeah, if I sold it wrong, sorry. Always correct me if you feel like it. Thank you for watching. I've been Rodimus, and I will see you later.